name is Julie Capitz. I'm the head of North America for Attractable AI. Today, I'm joined by Ted Okuma, one of our AI partners and uh, one of the people working for Tokyo Marine's Innovation Lab here in the US. Ted, thanks for being here with us. So today, we'll, we'll speak about creating seamless claims experiences with artificial intelligence. Before we dive in, I'd like to thank the Reuters events team for having us and especially Stephen Applebaum for moderating another terrific event. Over the past few months, many of us have, have seen COVID-19 uh, lead to different kinds of changes around the world. In claims, we've seen COVID-19 really be a catalyst for change toward digital. Today, in auto, when appraisers cannot appraise a car in person, we're seeing many carriers moving to virtual claims. But what's interesting is that we're seeing some carriers move beyond virtual to touchless. And touchless is becoming the new frontier. If you think about touchless claims and, and really automating claims end to end, one thing that is a critical component is AI or automated appraisal. In the claims world, the appraisal is key to a number of things. It's required to triage the vehicle, to schedule the repair, to order parts, to fulfill the rental, to pay out the claim, and ultimately to close the claim. If, you, if you're looking to, end, to automate claims end to end, automating the appraisal as a starting point is absolutely vital. Now to automate that task, you need technology with a very high level of accuracy. Those of you who work in auto know that appraisal is a very complex task for human experts. It takes human appraisers, years of training, hundreds of vehicles to really develop a high level of consistent expertise and performance. With machines, it's similar. You need world-class AI talent and millions of historical examples to train AI that performs on par with humans. That is really what we've done at Tractable over the last five years. Now in the insurance world, we've heard AI discussed for, for a number of years now. But today, we're seeing AI go beyond just an idea or an aspiration. It is having meaningful impact across the claims process. At Tractable, we're seeing a deliver impact in three specific points in the claims workflow. The first is triaging a vehicle, deciding whether that vehicle is repairable and can go to a shop or a total loss that needs to go to a salvage yard. Now, as some of you may know, in the standard or, or status quo process, vehicles are triaged with a scoring tool at first notice of loss. So if as a customer, I, I call in a claim, the customer service representative asks me a number of questions. Did the airbag blow? Are there fluids leaking? Did the vehicle travel on its roof? The representative then uses a scoring tool to assign a number to that vehicle. And that score decides whether that vehicle is a total loss or repairable. Now with that process, only 30% of total losses are accurately caught at first notice of loss. The remainder go to a shop, undergo a teardown, and only one or two weeks later are correctly identified as a total loss. Now that should not be surprising. The customer service representative making that decision is not seeing the vehicle, they're just asking questions, and they're not a trained appraiser. They don't know how to estimate damage to a vehicle. With artificial intelligence, carriers are inserting an expert appraiser in the form of AI directly at FNOL, at that first interaction. And by doing so, they're identifying not 30% of total losses, but 90% of total losses correctly at that point in the process. Now, the second point where we see AI playing a role in claims is estimating. And here, 
carriers are using AI to complete all of these subjective decisions that humans typically make in the estimating process. Which parts are damaged? Do they have to be repaired or replaced? How many repair hours do I need? Do I need a blend? Do I take a, a partial refinish? And what's interesting here is that carriers are seeing not just efficiency, they're seeing much higher accuracy. Damage appraisal in its very nature is a, is a highly subjective task. Two human appraisers sitting side by side at the same organization, looking at the same vehicle, will still write somewhat different estimates. Algorithms are much more consistent. The same algorithm, seeing the same vehicle day in and day out, will write it exactly the same way. Now, the third place where we're seeing AI have meaningful impact is the review of estimates. Here, carriers are using AI to review estimates coming in from shops, from in-house appraisers, and from IAs as well. The goal here is to, to drive accuracy, to drive consistently, consistency, and ultimately deliver a much safer estimate and a much safer repair. What's interesting is we're seeing carriers not just deliver more efficiency and accuracy with AI, we're seeing them completely revamp the customer experience. Leading carriers across many markets today are, are using AI to take a week off of cycle time. This is what we're seeing with Aegeus in the UK. Shortly, you, you'll hear from Ted about how Tokyo Marine in Japan is now processing claims in minutes rather than weeks using this technology. You can imagine what this means for your customers. One thing I'll call out is that the insurance industry has talked about touchless claims for quite some time. But this technology stands to benefit many different players in the industry. Customers have peace of mind at FNOL in three minutes. They know in three minutes whether that vehicle is repairable or a total loss. Carriers are taking a whole week off of cycle time. But repairers and other providers are benefiting as well. So repairers are seeing, in our experience, 70% fewer total losses because those vehicles are being correctly triage, triaged. Parts suppliers are seeing parts orders come in much earlier because now the carrier has the appraisal at first notice of loss and knows exactly what needs to happen to the vehicle and which parts need to come in. By placing that appraisal at the very first customer interaction, organizations across the ecosystem can work together to deliver a much faster repair, a safer repair, by doing all of these things in parallel. At this point, I'll hand it off to you, Ted, to talk a bit about how Tokyo Marine is using this technology and some of the learnings you've seen. Great. Uh, thanks, Jerry. Uh, my name is Ted Okuma, Digital Innovation Lead of US East Coast at Tokyo Marine Innovation Lab. Tokyo Marine is a 40, 140 years old company, the oldest and one of the largest Japanese insurance company doing the business globally in the both PNC and life insurance. In the 40 billion uh, of annual premium revenue, the half comes from Japan and the rest is from overseas market, including more than 10 billion from US market with about 10 US based Tokyo Marine's group companies now. Tokyo Marine has started our uh, digital transformation initiatives from about five years ago, launching five innovation labs across the globe, including Silicon Valley Lab, which I have been belonging to for the past three years, and now opening the same function in New York to explore East Coast InsurTech ecosystem. The innovation labs are in charge of digital technology scouting. Uh, through that function, I met Tractable, luckily, in an InsurTech conference uh, about two years ago. From when uh, we have started uh, our project together. Uh, in the next slide, uh, can I move the slide here? Okay, yeah. Uh, with this slide, I'd like to share 
how we adapted Tractable's cutting edge AI tech and what we learned from the project. The adoption of AI, first of all, I believe that uh, using AI should not be an ultimate goal, but it is very strong and indispensable or driver to create our customer-centric product or services. That is our goal. So uh, we are not just replacing the current human works to uh, AI, but uh, we are always trying to uh, get the optimal mix of AI and human touch operations or communications, which, I, uh, which we still respect enough its value in the insurance industry. So the optimal mix here means uh, improving the operational efficiency of, by using AI. We can let our claim handlers finding out uh, new adding value to the client, leveraging the time and the resources uh, that is squeezed by using AI. And uh, obviously uh, to, to achieve that, and to make successful adoption of technology, the right partner is essential. So because Tokyo Marine is not an expert of AI or other uh, digital, uh, advanced digital technologies, and given that AI is a kind of buzzword today, in order for us to go right direction, uh, it is essential to have to partner with uh, great companies with the best technology level. In that sense, uh, we, are, we are really lucky to have made it attractable. And next, the learning from the project. Uh, the continuous good communication is, is a big key factor, I believe, for the successful partnership between the startups and the corporate. For that point, um, our communication with Tractable is going perfect. And it was wonderful that uh, Tractable kindly had opened the office in Tokyo as well. And to have good communication, I believe there are several tips here. Uh, one example is that learning each other is very important. I mean, the startup should understand the corporate's business operations well. And likewise, the corporate should try to understand well the technology. It's not easy for us. But at least, uh, even not diving into very technical matters deeper, uh, but uh, should at least understand what AI can do and what cannot do, so that it enhances the constructive and the productive communication, bridging each uh, each size different nature domains. And another learning is about internal matters. Running the project, uh, the more stakeholder will be getting involved, not only the claim department, but also IT department or claim assessment companies or repair shops, etc. So it is very good to involve them as early stage as possible to avoid to face the critical problems, challenges in the latter stage of the project. And also getting uh, top, uh, strong top management buy-in is very important to not stop or, or not slow down the project, even if the, the tough challenges uh, appear in the, in the middle of technology validation or even implementation phase. So these are the learning from, uh, from the project we got. So thank you very much. Now I hand it over to Julie to wrap up the presentation. Thank you. Ted, thank you so much. I think it's valuable for this audience to hear not just from the technology providers here, but also from some of the carriers who are actually deploying this technology. And Tokyo Marine really has been at the frontier with AI and many other initiatives, truly one of the most innovative carriers, I think, across the globe. And that is a good note for us to wrap up on. One thing we have seen is that early adopters among insurance organizations are seeing a rapidly expanding competitive advantage. Auto insurance is a very competitive business. It is difficult to differentiate. The carriers that are using AI to process claims and serve customers in minutes instead of weeks are seeing a marked difference 
and truly stand out in the eyes of the end customer. Thank you.